It's an old Scottish custom. When you pass a can, you stick a rock on it. It may look just a heap of stones to you, but you know the strange thing is that nearly all the cairns in Scotland, and there must be thousands of them, were all put there for some specific reason. Some of them mark the sites of ancient burial grounds. Others commemorate events from the past, like Russell's cane on Windy Gyle, built in the early 1600s on the spot where Lord Russell of England was treacherously slain by the Scots. And here at Dromelia, right in the heart of the Scottish border country, which back in the 15 and 1600s was a hotbed of unrest, a kind of Wild West frontier, if you like, you can find cairns like this on almost every hilltop. But this one is rather special. It was built as a mark of respect for a man who died violently, but who never even came to Scotland. In fact, he was black, and he spent almost his entire life nearly 5,000 miles away in the Mississippi Delta country of North America. It took 19-year-old student Bruce Gardner two months to build this cairn. He had to choose his stones in the ravine below and lug them one by one up the steep hillside, a back-breaking business. When he'd finished, he fastened on a plaque which reads, This cairn is in memory of Robert Johnson, king of the Delta Blues Singers. Now, if you've never heard of Robert Johnson, don't be surprised. Not many people have. Very little is known about him at all. He died in the 1930s, poisoned, it's believed, by a jealous girlfriend. No one knows how old he was at the time, and no one knows where he's buried. In fact, all that remains today of Robert Johnson is this cairn in the remote Scottish borders. And, of course, his music. I got a kind-hearted woman Anything that's worth for me I got a kind-hearted woman Anything that's worth for me Bruce Gardner, it seems a, a bit of an incongruous place to build a monument to an American blues singer. Yes, but uh, I, had, I felt I had to build it in the, the place that I lived. Um, after all, I did live here for 17 years. I could hardly go to the Mississippi Delta and build it. You know, a lot of people might think you're a bit daft uh, doing something like this. Yes, but... Uh, I felt I really had to honour the man in some way, you know, he gave me so much pleasure and plus the fact that it's a sort of personal thing between Robert Johnson and I and I'm not awfully bothered what people think. I was worried about how you treat me, baby I began to think 